I saw the awards online on the Lloyds uh, Pharmacy website and immediately thought of Steph as she cares for Daisy, her daughter, who's 11 and has uh, a rare condition called Costello syndrome, as well as her two older boys who both have high functioning autism. Theo is my eldest and the caring idea around him, it's more emotional support and some practical support. My younger son Jules is 13 and he has similar issues. Daisy's care is completely different, it's full on. And for want of a better word, I'm a nurse. She has to have intravenous infusions 24 hours a day, 24 seven. If I'm not with her, she has to be have a nurse with her. She has a, a central line that at the tip of which rests into her heart. I put up her drip every night that runs for 24 hours. I administer intravenous meds, I manage her seizures. Daisy can only go to school two days a week. Um, her stamina just doesn't allow her to go for any longer and she goes with a nurse. So every Thursday and Friday, put her portable IV pump into a backpack, get her into the wheelchair, down the stair lift, into the taxi and wave her off to school. The other days of the week, she is two days at the Children's Trust at Tadworth where she has respite. I think for Stephanie to be nominated for the National Carers Award is absolutely fantastic. Stephanie has devoted her life to caring about Daisy and will fight every inch of the way to make sure that Daisy gets the best quality of life for her. Shooting Star Chase is a charity that supports uh, children with life-limiting conditions and their families. Steph and the family have been using Shooting Star Chase for, for many years. Daisy uses the hospice several times a year for a short break. Steph is an incredible woman and of course so sadly, her husband died not long ago. Last year, my husband was terminally ill with cancer. And so not only was I caring for my children when their needs, I was also caring for Andy. She made sure that he was being taken care of. She was doing medical care from home. And when he like passed, literally within the half hour, she was the first one to make phone calls to like family members and just sort everything out. You can be plodding along, as I was, and suddenly, because of a gene mutation, completely sporadic with Daisy, because of Andy's cancer, our lives have been turned upside down and I became a carer. Despite the fact, you know, all the stuff she's gone through in the past, she's never stopped caring, never complained about anyone. She's always thought, how can I improve the situation? I started writing my blog, Was This in the Plan? in 2008. She explains how difficult it is sometimes to multitask and also to include her other children because so much of her care is involved with Daisy. I wanted to be able to share our experience so that those people that maybe couldn't talk about what they were going through could hopefully share and benefit. I suppose to sum it up, I know that Steph hates the use of the word inspirational but to me, that is exactly what she is. She is totally inspirational.